Hi, this is Michael with Iconesis. I just wanted to communicate a quick workflow video of shooting eyeglasses and sunglasses for your requirements. Um, I've connected my camera through USB to the computer and uh, launched the shutter stream application and selected the live view. Uh, this is going to uh, project a real-time preview of what the camera sees onto the monitor screen. As you can see my hand inside the studio positioning our subject. Now what we want to do first and foremost is optimize our camera settings for our lighting environment. So I'll go ahead and make changes to my camera settings and in real time we can actually see the camera setting results change on the uh, computer screen. So we're going to optimize for the exposure. Uh, and basically once we've optimized our exposure and all looks good, uh, the next thing that we could do if required would be to adjust the focal point. Um, it looks like everything's in focus anyways, but if we wanted to, just to communicate, you can adjust your focal point through mouse clicks to, again, manually select your focal point if required. Um, after that looks good to go, our next step is to simply pre-crop our object. And I'm going to do one more thing here is just create an image overlay. I'll get back to this in just a second here. Let me just save it as sunglasses. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, what you can do is obviously pre-crop your subject. That is, define the area that you wish to shoot by clicking and dragging around the frame. You can also choose to uh, uh, adjust your crop at a specific ratio. Uh, for instance, maybe you need all your images on your website at 1,000 by 600. I'm going to choose a 10 by 6 ratio. You can see when I click and drag my, uh, my crop, it's retained that exact ratio. So let's go ahead and capture our first image here. I'm going to hit the snap button. It's going to capture the image. Within a second, it's going to upload it to our computer. As we can see, a pretty good quality result captured in just seconds. Um, I am shooting in the 16-inch LED studio. Um, my next step will be to re-enable Live View, reposition for my next shooting angle. So maybe it's just a side angle here. And I will hit snap again. And that's really your standardized workflow, a Live View, Readjust your object, snap. So maybe we just want our three kind of standard angles here. And I probably could have positioned that just a tad better. Okay, so these are our three standard angles that maybe we need of our sunglasses. As we can see here in the thumbnail gallery, image one, two, and three images are captured, instantly uploaded to our computer. Really no longer a need for an SD card, um, as again, our images are instantly transferred to our computer. My next step, uh, for instance, maybe we need pure white backgrounds, is to remove my subject and hit my snap button. I'm taking a picture of just the background. And essentially what we're able to do is, let me select all four of these images using the select all button in the bottom right. As you can see, they're denoted by check marks, meaning they're selected. I will hit the editing tool, and I will take my background only image and make this as my background removal image. So I'm going to add this to the gallery. We can see it was imported successfully. Now what I simply want to do inside of here is go back to my product images and what we're using is image recognition and computer vision to understand uh, for instance maybe it's the pixel in the top left hand corner. We're looking at that comparing it with our background image and we're saying does the pixel value change? So we're able to understand where a product is versus where the background is. So simply I can select my background removal tool and what I'm going to do here is change my threshold and I can say show me what's pure white here and it'll blink what's pure white but you're going to see as I take my threshold higher we start to eat in the product as I take it lower we're not removing the background as you can see it's still pretty gray and if I again I say show me what's white here so we want to go ahead and adjust our threshold so that we're removing our background and getting rid of our slight little drop shadows here. So maybe I'll take this up just a little bit higher. It looks like a pretty good cutout here. So what I'm going to do is hit next and we'll make sure that works for our next two images. So this will be uh, image number two. I'll say show me what's white. Looks like a good cutout there. I'll hit next again. We'll take a look at image number three. And I will say, show me what's white here. All right, so now that we're good, I'm simply going to hit apply to all. So in a batch process, we've dropped all our image backgrounds from this off-white grayish color to a pure white. And we'll give that just a couple seconds to, uh, to process. Okay, there we go. So now we can see image one, two, and three captured and instantly background removed. And let me just zoom in a little bit on this. Um, I know there's some other tools in the market. Um, 
if you look at our edge detection, it's actually very, very good uh, compared to um, really a lot of the other tools who claim to automate background removal, as you can see, like what we've done here. So uh, let's go ahead and now what we want to do in our last step is simply output these. I'm going to choose my, uh, maybe it's my batch saving. Again, maybe it was 1,000 by 600 pixels that we need these images at. Uh, let me just create a new folder here. So I'll just go desktop. And I'm just going to put sunglasses. Okay, and pardon me for spelling that wrong, but regardless, let's go ahead and choose that. Okay, so now what we'd want to do is rename our file. So maybe if you have a barcode scanner, you could quickly scan that in, um, and it's going to enter into that placeholder. Maybe it's just, you know, black frames, whatever it might be. Uh, you can also go ahead, it's going to name these sequentially for you. So I'm going to choose to say, okay, black dash frames dash zero one for this image, zero two for the second image, zero three for the third image. Uh, maybe I want 72 DPI resolution for my website. Again, we're resizing to 1,000. And again, because we cropped at 10 by 6 ratio, it'll be 1,000 by 600. And we could also watermark or instantly transfer these to an FTP site. But let me just hit OK. We're going to output those images. And within a couple seconds, we'll be done. So let's go and pull up that folder here just so I can show you the output. And uh, I think it was called Sin Glasses. Pardon me again. Um, all right. And pardon me, my default program is, let me go open with, choose default. Uh, let's choose photo gallery. Okay, so here's image one. Again, resized image two, image three. If we look at the actual properties of this image, we're gonna see it's at 1000 by 600 pixels, again, as we specified. So you're gonna have consistent ratio images every time and you're not cropping after the fact, you're pre-cropping. Now, let's move on to our next product here. So we just shot all those we output. Uh, we could remove them from the program if we wanted to. We don't need to, though. So I'm going to hit Live View again. Um, if you recall, I created an overlay. When I hit this button, it brings up a transparent overlay of a previously shot item. So when I go ahead and put my next object inside, I can actually use that overlay to put it in the exact same position. And I'm just trying to line up kind of the bottom part of the frame there. So when people go and compare sunglasses or eyeglasses on your website, you're going to have the exact same standard angle for every single shot. So let me just shoot this next image here. Okay, we can see image one. And I think our second image was just this kind of standard side angle. Again, if we wanted to, we could do that. Uh, yeah, image overlay if we'd created more image overlays. And then our third, which was the straight on angle. Okay, so we've just shot our next three objects, or our next three angles of our shade. So we're going to select all those. I'll hold shift, select the first, select the last. It'll select everything. We don't need to create another background removal image because essentially we didn't change anything from shot to shot. So what I can see here is it remembers my last same settings, and I can say, all right, we're pretty close to a pure white background. Let's just take up our tolerance a tad more, and we're cutting out into pure white. So I'm just going to hit apply to all, assuming that's going to work well. We'll give it a couple more seconds to process. We'll see it'll work quite well. And we'll go and inspect each of these images to make sure they're good. Okay, we can see image one looks great. Image two, pure white background looks great. Image three, pure white background looks wonderful. Now all we do again is we come into our batch saving tool. We'll go Oakley Shades or whatever our file name again. It remembers all our last settings. I just hit okay. And we'll simply go and take a look at this folder here. And we can see Oakley Shade 1, 2, 3 again. Oh, pardon me, it wasn't 3 yet. It probably wasn't saved. There we go, Oakley Shade 3. So a very nice tool for throughput. Uh, saves you a lot of time and money, obviously, in your image capture. Makes it easy to create high-quality results because the live view. Uh, increased consistencies. You have your pre-crop. You have your image overlay settings. And automated background removal, batch resizing, batch image renaming. Great tool for e-commerce, product photography, um, and obviously, as you can see here, sunglasses and eyeglasses photography. Thank you.